The Tech Academy with the basketball on an eight-point lead to start the second half. Tristan Sadler, uh, really the, the story for the Tech in the first half. Lob, McCurmaker drops it through on the lob from Shaq Barrett. What a great play call out of the halftime break as we welcome you back to the broadcast with authority as McCurmaker stuffs that through for the first bucket. 40-30 to 30 now, a 10-point advantage for the Tech. Entry on the inside. That was a good force in there by Ziegler. But the shot was put up and missed on the weak side. I believe that was Randall over there. A lot of traffic. Couldn't really tell who. This is Hyder going baseline. Ran into a trap. Shot up no good. McCurr Maker couldn't follow it. It ends up in the hands of Barrett, who bounces it out to Sadler. Sadler had 17 points in the first half. Up top to McCurr Maker. Back to Sadler. Sadler, deep ball. Back iron, no good. Long rebound comes right to him in the lane. Drop pass. Jamal Wright will stuff it through. So two dunks and two buckets for the Tech Academy here in the second half to start at Ziegler in the lane. Right hand and one for Andrew Ziegler. They need more of that. The Tigers desperately need more of that. Ziegler completes the and one. He's got eight. Sadler to Barrett. Barrett kicks it over on the wing. Back to Sadler. Bullet pass into the corner. Hyder for three. Got it. C.J. Hyder. Now with seven. Sadler, quick hands, knocked that away from White. White got it back, and he's fouled from behind by Sadler. And Denzel Cooper will check in at the next whistle. This is Ziegler with the left hand. Works off the pick, kicks it into the corner. Pass deflected and turned over. This is McCurr Maker ahead of steam. Good look to Hyder. He can't finish, but we got a foul on the shot as Hyder will be at the line for two. Kind of a late whistle, but you know if Hyder goes to the floor, he was more than likely bumped. He is a strong, and White will be at the line for two. CBA needs to find a way to Kind of stop the bleeding here as the lead is stretched out to 12 for the Tech. White has one more coming. One of two for Akeem White. Nine points. For him in the game. Sadler, crossover, kick out. It was a good look, but Denzel Cooper shuffled his feet in the corner, and he's called for the walk. Hyman, entry, turn around, hook shot, no good for Randall. Akeem White flies in, grabs the board, and we got a jump ball called. And it'll stay with CBA. Hyman, jumper, good. First field goal of the game for Lord and Hyman. Sadler, right hand. In and out, no good. Jamal Wright, good rebound. He's just kind of pushed out of there. 
Karee Dawson had his hands up but was fouling with the body. So it's Jamal Wright at the line with 13 and a half minutes to play in this one. Too strong with the first. Hyman, left hand, couldn't get it to go, and it's last touch by CBA, it'll be the Tech basketball. Shaquan Barrett up top to Sadler. Sadler guarded by Hyman. Goes to work here. Spins. Kicks it out. Barrett crossing over. Step back. What a move by Barrett, but he airballed the three. White in the front court with the right hand. Preet Gill got his hand in there, knocked that one away, and it went off the leg of White. White very frustrated. Sadler guarded by Hyman went behind the back lost the handle in transition this is White split the double team and laid it in with the right hand or split the traffic I should say not really a double team as a timeout for Greg Primus he wants a full timeout a little momentum here for CBA as they've cut the lead to eight we'll be back right after so Shaquan was seven now and he'll be at the line chance to make it eight Marte, off the pick from White, in the lane, floater, correction, that's Ziegler. Ziegler left it short. Barrett running the other way for the Tech, and Ziegler snuck up behind and made the steal. Ziegler to White. White over to Randall. Randall, good look to Goss. Good ball movement there by CBA, and Goss got the layup. Sadler to Barrett. Barrett with the right hand. Started to fade on it, but dropped it to Wright. And Wright's called for the walk. Hyman guarded by Sadler. Kicked it on the wing. Ziegler for three. No good. We got a push in the back on Randall. And that 17th foul will be one and one. So for the final eight minutes, we'll be one and one for the Tech. And it'll be McCurr Maker at the line. Missed the front end. Akeem White's pass is a skip to Goss. Wouters almost had it. Good take by Goss, though, to get it up on the backboard before McCurr Maker could get to it. 
Goss now with four. McCurr maker. Good bounce pass. What a block from behind by Andrew Ziegler. And it led to a layup attempt. No good. A follow is good. And Akeem White fired up as he heads the other way. That's 15 now for White. McCurr maker out to right. Right is fouled by Marte. And the lead is just five after that little flurry there from CBA. One and one here for Jamal Wright. Missed the front end. The Tech leaving the door wide open here with missed free throw attempts. That's potentially four points left at the line. The front end of the one and one missed twice. Here's White on the wing. Pump fake, step back, jumper, good. That was smooth right there. Akeem White starting to feel it a little. He's got 17. Entertaining offers from UTEP, New Mexico State, North Carolina A&T. You can see why. He's got the skill set there. This is Barrett on the wing. Works off the pick from McCurr Maker. Step back jumper. In and out, no good. Randall had it, lost it. It's going to be Tech basketball, but it is CBA basketball here. Marte works off a pick, uses the pick again, bounce pass to Ziegler. Ziegler goes baseline, pump fake, and we got a foul underneath. Ziegler just bullied his way in there and then got two defenders to bite on a pump fake and then jumped right into him. And Ziegler left the first short. Missed them both. That would have cut it to one. He missed them both. So Sadler with the basketball. The Tech Academy leading by just three now. Sadler had 17 in the first half. Only two here in the second. They need his offense to get going again. Sadler. Back door to Barrett. That was beautiful. Sadler dribbled right at Barrett's defender. Barrett went back door. Made the catch and finished. Long outlet. Hyder broke it up. It'll be CBA basketball. Entry to White, now Goss. Sadler with a steal and a save. What a play by Tristan Sadler. The Tech Academy, just like they did on the last play, they really space the floor here. Sadler dribbles to Barrett. Barrett crosses over, thought he was fouled, no call. Randall will clear it. Here comes Ziegler into the front court. Lob. White almost caught it and threw it down. It was a little bit out of his reach. Jamal Wright up ahead to Barrett. Barrett hesitates in the lane. McCurr Maker stuffs it in. McCurr Maker now with 13. Three from the corner. Too strong. It hit the support above the backboard. Maker will be on the line without any time running off the clock. McCurr Maker will walk down and shoot free throws here. He looks to Ed Smith, head coach, who makes the shooting motion to show him to follow through, I believe. Musa Cora will check in to replace Randall. Kerr Maker got the first. 14 for him. You knew 
somebody would have to step up their scoring in the absence of Mature Maker. McCurr Maker and Tristan Sadler have done just that. Here's Hyman into the front court for CBA. They trail by nine now. So he had two missed free throws for CBA and two makes for the Tech. Jumper from the corner, short corner, is buried by Musa Cora. He's got four. And the lead is seven. Four and a half to play. Sadler over to Barrett. Barrett off the pick. Splits the double team. In the lane. Right hand. And one for Shaquan Barrett. What a play there. For the 6'4 senior guard from Toronto, split the double team beautifully and then finished with the right hand on the left side through the contact. And Shaquan Barrett completes the three-point play. 19 for Sadler, 13 for Barrett, 10 for Hyder, and 15 for McCurr Maker. A spaced out, widespread attack from the Tech Academy. Jump, stop, up and under move by Akeem White. He's got all the skills to be successful at the next level. And he's shown a lot of those in this contest alone. It's an eight-point advantage for the Tech. They have the basketball. Under four to play. McCurr Maker hands it to Hyder. Hyder to Sadler, who hands to Gill. Gill up top to Barrett, five on the shot clock. Barrett spins, step back, jumper, front iron, no good. Akeem White, behind the back dribble, in transition, got it up, and that's a good foul by Barrett. As Ziegler was gonna lay that in, but we got a foul before. So Ziegler will shoot a one-and-one one here. No shot. Foul was not on the shot. And Ziegler left the first short. The follow is swatted out by McCurr Maker. The jumper rattles around and is tipped in. Just a little bit too much. White couldn't come up with it. Barrett guarded by Ziegler. Crossover, Ziegler got a hand on it, Barrett got it back, kicked it into the corner, three is short, Hyder with a tip, no good, and here comes CBA, Hyman, in the lane, scoop with the left hand, too strong, timeout for the Tech Academy. Under two and a half to play. The Tech leads by six. Barrett to inbound. Tried to get it in to McCurr Maker, but we got a five-second call before Barrett can get it in. So that's not what Ed Smith drew up. That is not at all what he drew up in that timeout. They needed a bucket, and they didn't even get the ball inbound. This is White on the wing. Spin move. Went right into the contact. Couldn't finish. McCurr Maker had it. Lost it. And alertly, Marte snatched it and put it in. Marte has eight. And the lead is just four for the Tech. We're going to finish day one of the Tango in the Triad with a great game here. A great finish. Right. Lobs it into Hyder. Hyder squares. Gets into the front court. He's hounded by two CBA guards. Good pass from Hyder. Wright was met at the rim. And Cora is going to get teed up for spiking the basketball. Cora was called for the foul. Disagree or agree, either one. You can't spike the basketball into the floor, which is what Cora did. It was a meeting at the rim. Cora may have gotten all ball on that. Right went to stuff it. Jamal right now with seven. Now 
so Jamal Wright shoots two there. Got them both, so he's got eight now. And now Shaquan Barrett's who they want to shoot the technical free throws. There's one for him. Got one more coming. So it's a three-point play as it stands. Now it's a four-point play. And now they have the ball, so it could be a five, six, or seven-point play. What a turn of events that was. Took a lot of the drama out of the final two minutes. Barrett got by his defender, kicked it to Hyder. Hyder, pump fake, and traveled. Drug his pivot foot. So it's a four-point possession for the Tech Academy. They lead by five. They went from leading by four. Or, I'm sorry, they, they lead by eight. They went from leading by four to leading by eight on one trip. Hyman up to Marte. Marte baseline. Good defense by McCurr Maker to stay straight up. He grabbed the rebound too. And then Sadler had a hard time grabbing the outlet pass. Cora on the floor made a great play. Hyman for three. Got it. What a shot that was by Lord, Lord and Hyman. That took a lot of guts. He's got nine now. McCurr Maker had it stolen from behind by Akeem White. There goes White to the rim. He's fouled and won by Akeem White. And he is all kinds of fired up. So a four-point play one way, and now a five-point possession already the other way with a free throw coming for Akeem White. He's got 23 now. And what was I thinking saying that the drama had been taken out of it after the four-point play? It is real interesting now. A one-possession game, and White converts the and one. He got a little roll as that went off the backboard as well. It's a full timeout for the Tech Academy. We'll take a break, too. The final minute and a half of this thriller when we come back. It's the grind. Sadler with the basketball, the Tech leading by just two at this point. And it's active pressure from CBA full court. McCurr Maker hands to Jamal Wright. This is why the shot clock is so great because they can't just hold the ball here. They got to go to play. They got five on the shot clock. Barrett, deep three, got it. Shaquan Barrett buried a Big shot. He's got 18 now. That's what he can do. If the play breaks down, he can let it fly. A three the other way is an air ball, and it's last touched by the Tech Academy. It'll still be CBA ball. Ziegler to inbounds. Got it to Akeem White. White goes to work. White spins with the right hand, can't finish. Good board by McCurr Maker. Now Barrett into the front court. Well, not in the front court. It's him and Sadler playing catch. Now Barrett out to Sadler. Sadler skips to Hyder. Good catch by C.J. Hyder here. He's fouled. So Hyder will be at the line for two here. The lead is five. Two free throws for Hyder. And if he makes them both, this could be a three-possession game with one more free throw from Hyder. So that makes this one a big one. He's got 11. He is the fourth Tech Academy Titan to be in double figures. He's got 12. That was a big one right there. The lead is seven. Stop and pop for Ziegler. Too strong. Maker... Battling for the rebound. It ends up in the hands of Barrett. Barrett up ahead to Hyder. Hyder is fouled, and he'll shoot two more here. Jamal Wright stuffs it after the whistle. So you got Sadler with 19, Hyder with 12, Shaquan Barrett with 18, Jamal Wright with 8, and McCure Maker with 15 points in this one. Hyder. Putting the icing on the cake here. If he can 
make one, but it's this one's in the books. The Tech Academy is going to win this one over Charlotte Basketball Academy in what was a great game. Hyder, 0 for 2 on this trip. Hyman, up ahead to Ziegler. Ziegler pulls, got it. Five point, well, it's going to be 4.7 on the clock as Ziegler buried that. Ziegler gets himself into double figures with 11. It's a 30-second timeout for CBA. They need a steal and a four-point play. It's not imp it's not impossible, but it's highly improbable. So we'll be back with the final 4.7 right after this on Tanager Sports. Barrett to inbound. Good play there by the Tech Academy. They ran the play where they pass it on the out-of-bounds line there, and it caught CBA off guard. What a uh, good way to finish that for the Tech. It was a nicely drawn-up play by Ed Smith to get the ball inbound, and that's how they run out the clock. 74-70 is your final score. The Tech Academy over CBA. Hey, don't forget, on Monday, the Tech Academy will play Liberty Heights at 1 p.m. Eastern. At 3 p.m. Eastern, Wesley and Christian will take on this Charlotte Basketball Academy squad who went down fighting here against the Tech. So what a good first day it was. We will be back with winning head coach Ed Smith and player of the game right after this on Tanager Sports. <laughs> 